welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Please remember that Catspit Productions sells screen printing equipment and supplies. You can check out our offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com and remember that all the proceeds from the sales on that website go to support the continued production of free educational videos right here on YouTube like the one you're watching right now. So today I wanted to do a quick tips video, but this is not really going to be quick because I want to cover this thoroughly, okay? I have been asked recently quite often, all of a sudden, can I use the sun to expose my screens? And I'm not, all of a sudden, you know, we get in this activity about using the sun to expose your screens. Hmm. So I wanted to give you my take on it, okay? All right, so first of all, the answer to the question is yes, it is possible to use the sun to expose screens for screen printing. However, I personally do not recommend it. The reason why is that there are so many variables in using the sun to expose your screen, and screen making is one of the most difficult parts of the process. Okay, so in my opinion, you're going to be better off with a 500 watt work light. So let's talk about the different reasons or the different problems that may lead you to the same belief that I have that a 500 watt work lamp from Home Depot will work better and more consistently for you than the sun. While it is true that the sun has damaging UV light rays for your skin, is damaging to living tissue, UV light from the sun is not necessarily a good UV light source for exposing your screens, okay? The UV light in the sun is not nearly as intense as UV light that is given off by the UV light bulbs in your screen exposure unit. Those bulbs are made to be high intensity UV output. So the sun, while it may be damaging to us and UV light rays to us, to humans, and to perhaps your car and degradation of other materials like rubbers and, and uh, plastics and things like that, especially in Arizona, uh, you know, that UV is damaging and is powerful, but when it comes to exposing a screen, it's really not. Now, the other thing I'm gonna to mention to you that if you do try to use the sun to expose your screens, you know that you're gonna need a piece of glass to sandwich the film positive between the screen. But don't use a piece of glass that's big and hits the frame edges. What you wanna use is a piece of glass that's heavier, smaller, and fits inside the frame edge. That way, the glass's weight, the, gl the weight of the glass, will be on the mesh and not on the frame edge. So you want a smaller piece of glass to go inside the inner dimensions of your screen. I can tell you that in places like Phoenix, Arizona, where the sun is very consistent and we have very little seasons with very little weather, meaning few clouds, it is possible to consistently expose your screens in the sun. And there are sign shops that make very big oversized screens using the sun. However, they will tend to use projection vacuum tables. A projection vacuum table is basically a vacuum portion of your exposure unit that's separated from the light source, okay? It's a projection system. So they don't use the light source, but they're using the vacuum table and they can put the giant oversized screen in the vacuum table and then roll it out into the sun and get their exposure. Now, these types of screen makers will be using dual cure emulsions. The reason why people who use the sun to expose their screens use dual cure emulsion is because dual cure emulsions have a wider exposure latitude. What that means is dual cure emulsions will get off a good exposure in a wider range of exposure times. That means Dual cure emulsions are much more forgiving than photopolymers, okay? So, if you're using the sun to expose your screens, it will behoove you to use a dual cure emulsion. Emulsions made specifically for screen printing purposes are made to be exposed to high intensity UV lights, okay? They are made to respond only to UV light. Okay, and they are made to respond quickly to high intensity UV light specifically from exposure units or bulbs that are made specifically for high UV output in screen making for screen printing. Now, you can call up any emulsion manufacturer and ask them, 
is the sun a good UV light source for exposing, exposing emulsions? Okay, and I guarantee you that the manufacturer of any said decent emulsion will tell you it is not. The sun is not a good UV source for exposing emulsions that are made specifically for screen printing purposes. Okay, you will have much better results using a more consistent light source. Okay, so when using the sun to expose screens, a dual cure emulsion is going to be your best choice, okay? Because like I said, a dual cure emulsion will give you a good exposure in a wider range of exposure times, okay? A photopolymer emulsion is only going to give you the good exposure in a narrower, a narrower, narrower range of exposure times, okay? So the reason, now let's go on to some of the other reasons why I'm saying a basic exposure unit like this, a 500 watt work light, will be easier to work with than the sun, okay, is because the sun's UV intensity varies throughout the year, okay, because the sun moves in relation to the earth. So its intensity varies throughout the time of the year, even from month to month, okay? Secondly, the time of day is going to affect your exposure because again, the time of day will also predict how intense the UV light is going to be. Obviously at 12 noon to 3 p.m. is gonna be probably your best times to work with the sun, okay? But that's another variable, okay? And the third variable, of course, is gonna be weather. So if you live in an area where you get a lot of weather and even high atmospheric weather that you may not be able to see very easily, maybe it's a hazy day, but it looks sunny, but you know, there's some atmospheric conditions going, up higher, going on higher up that you know, you're unaware of, that will also affect the UV intensity of the sun, okay? So I am recommending to use a basic exposure unit like this. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to sell you this, okay? Catspit doesn't push anything on anybody. You can go to Home Depot and buy a freaking work lamp, a 500 watt work lamp or even better, a 1000 watt work lamp will be much easier to work with, with a dual cure emulsion than the sun. This thing costs about 15 to $20. It will save you a lot of time, headache, wasted emulsion, and reclaiming labor, which everybody knows reclaiming is like, who wants to reclaim? You want to print, right? So we go back to the old saying from Catspit Productions, eliminate all variables. The sun is a huge variable. Eliminate it. Use a work lamp, or if you have the budget, buy an exposure unit, whether it's a basic one like this, or a floor unit with fluorescent bulbs like I showed you before, or if you really have the budget, get a point source metal halide exposure unit. Those are the best, okay? So, these are the problems and things that you want to be aware of when you're working with the sun to make screens. Okay, because the sun is not such a great source of UV light, this means that your exposure times are not going to be in the minutes. Okay, that's a misconception. Okay, exposure times in the sun are probably going to range from 15 minutes to 30 minutes to hours, depending on the UV intensity of the sun at the particular time of day and year and weather and all that. Okay, you follow what I'm saying? So one day where the sun is very bright and beautiful and there's nothing, you may have a shorter exposure time of 30 minutes. The next day, maybe there's a little bit of weather or say you didn't expose the screen for a couple months and now it's winter. Now the exposure time might be an hour or more. Now. In addition to those problems, you're also going to experience problems of light scattering and bounce because there's no real way to blacken out the bottom side of the screen, right? When we put a screen in an exposure unit with a vacuum top, we pull down the black vacuum top and vacuum the air out and the black blanket that's sitting on top will absorb all the light that's going around the sides of the screens. You know what I'm saying? It absorbs the scatter. So when you're working outside, perhaps you could put a black piece of foam inside the screen on the bottom side, you know, the side that is opposite to where you're exposing to the sun. Okay, so 
those are the other problems. And of course, one of the biggest problems with using the, uh, you know, well, I don't know if it's one of the biggest problems, but it's part of all these big problems is that if you're using the piece of glass and not a vacuum table, then you, you know, the piece of film isn't sandwiched against the emulsion coated screen very well. So you can experience some loss of detail, fuzziness, and uh, not sharp edges, you know what I'm saying? So it's really, you know, using the sun is really asking for a lot more trouble than need be. Okay, so let's recap. The time of year can affect the sun's UV intensity. The time of day can affect the UV sun intensity. The weather can affect the UV sun intensity, okay? Um, also, you know, again, the bounce that you're experiencing out there is not a great thing, okay? So it all goes back to eliminating the variables and trying to get the screen printing formula or the screen printing equation as tight as possible, eliminating all those variables, make the formula work, and then you adjust it and tweak it with your artistic creativity as needed. Okay? So that's it for today. I hope that helps clear up some of the questions that I've been getting about using the sun to expose your screens. If you have any questions that you need further explanation or, you know, you're confused, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Please remember, if you like my videos, rate thumbs up and subscribe because without your support, I can't keep going indefinitely. All right, so thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.